Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Mr. Two. welcome back to some more World of Tanks, where today we are starting a new series. Now, I kind of alluded to this before, and it's basically going to be a quest for 10 farms. Now, I've been playing this game for quite some time, as you can see, I created the account on June 19th, 2013, so it's been over 11 years at this point, and at that time, 23,000 battles. Not too much, but, you know life victory rate 54.1 that's ever so slightly going up each and every month which i am proud of i remember when it was around 44 percent which was quite some time ago but yes the most amount of damage i've ever managed to achieve was 8531 in a agpan 100 now you know would be nice to get five digits on that so I thought, why not make uh, a series on trying to hit 10,000 damage. Now, it's not going to be a weekly thing. You know, maybe once every two weeks, every three, every month. I'm not really sure yet. But we are basically going to do a uh, go by with tanks. So basically, going to spend a whole video focused on trying to get 10k in one tank. Just to kind of, you know, get into the rhythm of that one tank and not just skip around. So let's say, well... This video we are starting off with the Gorilla 15. I'm going to do four battles and basically we'll see where it goes. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are on the first map in the Gorilla 15. We are the Pearl River. Now, this is a very fun map. I mostly like to play lights and mediums and maybe he quicker heavies on it to get into the center and then kind of control the map from there. I don't really know the best places for tank destroyers on this map so i guess we'll see how well we do though i have a very fairly skilled crew in this tank uh, because i guess well the four out of the six are from the scorpion g which i have loads of games in now the other two i don't really remember what they are loaders i think they are just based in this tank they are i'm pretty sure have three skills if not learning the fourth but you know not the worst I guess we can just see what we can do and we definitely need to stay in the game in order to do the damage. So let's not get, uh, you know, killed straight away. Because that probably wouldn't be too good. Now, can we put in a shot into this G-Saw? Yes, we can. There you go. That is always good. Now, the only problem of it being a tier 8 game is less hit points to go around. So if we want to do 10,000, we'd have to do just over 50% of the damage available in this game which is kind of hard you know uh, so I'm not going to write it off straight away because you know it's not a 0% chance of it not happening or a 100% chance of it not happening it could still happen it's just that the odds are a lot lower and not in our favour at this point so I guess we could just wait and see if the brass is going to do anything nope he just pulls back Okay, well, okay, that's a way bigger target over there, the Minotauro. And we've got an SU below us, which is... Well, things definitely have gotten quite interesting in the space of a couple of seconds. Let's tell that one-to-one -to, -one to kind of, you know, fall back. Oh, missed shell on the Barrasque over there. That should have gone in. I think I just aimed a little bit too low, maybe. I'm not really too sure. We have to watch out for the GW Tiger. He's definitely probably want to, wanting to be aiming for me. But I really hope that one to one just kind of goes back. I don't think he is in trouble. Oh, okay. Luckily, no shots for me over there. Back of the engine deck over there. It was angled towards us, so that was really nice and easy to get through uh, for us in that situation. Are we actually losing the other side as well? This, this definitely isn't... isn't um, the best of games and you know the games that you'd kind of want uh, to kind of be working on to get that 10k um, I guess we are in a quite good spot to actually be shooting um, advancing enemies but, you know spots like this you definitely uh, aren't you know securing 10k but you know we'll see you know we can still win this maybe uh, maybe not you know it's not over until it's over we just have to Help that T30 out. Can actually go forwards and take up this um, 
overpowered tank over there. There we go. Definitely worth you for getting hit uh, uh, by uh, the KV-4 or the Type 68 over there because you always have to take out an object 279E if you can. It's just the code of of World of Tanks. I've just realised I'm just alone completely and no one's behind me. So let's run away, shall we? We've only got a couple of tanks left on our team, so it's not looking too good. The Scorpion should really be coming out and trying to get uh, a kill on him over here. Is he going to? Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, let's just go back in here, tell the Scorpion to fall back, and hopefully the Tortoise doesn't pop out over there, because if he does, then we are quite screwed. Talking about screwed, Artie stuns us, and there's an FV405 over there. And we are getting flanked as well, so not looking too good. Not especially since we don't have enough good elevation in order to pull off that shell over there. Oh, it's not looking good at all, is it? Let's just fall back. We're only going to be able to put in like one more shot over here, so this definitely isn't the game. Especially since um, oh, that's going to hurt. Let's just focus on this. Oh, bad shell over there, bad heat shell over there. 3,000 damage to begin off with, you know, 7,000 damage still off, so still a long ways to go. Okay, round two puts us on the Overlord map. Still tier 8, so, you know, normally in a tier 10 you'd be happy to meet tier 8, but I guess in this kind of a situation, we're kind of not. I kind of want to see the difference between a tier 8 battle, let's say about 25,000 hit points, and let's see how much hit points there is on offer. Um, in a full tier 10 matchup if we get that in the next two games. I just kind of want to see what the kind of percentage take I'd have to, you know, take away from is in a tier 8 game versus a tier 10 game because it's quite interesting. And I was kind of thinking of like, you know, other like tier 8s, tier 10s, uh, tier 9s that I could maybe use for this kind of challenge as well. But I mean, tier 8s, I mean, I have done... I mean, probably 8,200 damage in the Brask, you know, once or twice maybe, but, you know, I think we're more often, more likely than not, uh, oh, be able to do that in a tier 10 than a tier 8 or a tier 9. I thought that E75 was actually looking the other way, that's why I kind of got surprised um, by him looking at me over there, but we managed to put a shot in, took a shot, but at least we got that shot in ourselves, so it's not... I like we just, you know, wasted hit points over there. We actually did uh, get a trade out over there, which I guess is uh, good. Oh, there's a Centurion 7-1 over there. That's always, you know, fun over there to get, get a free shot in. That's always welcome, especially in a challenge like this. Now, can't we put another shot into him? This is, you know, one of the most accurate tanks in the game, depending on how you have it set up. Um, but yes, let's see if you can put another shot into the Centurion 7-1. No, we can't. Just goes, I think, a little bit too low. We really can't be taking these these shells so early on. We have to have to kind of have the hit points in order to actually, you know, go in later on in the game. What we really should be doing is just but we just need a map, a big open map, that we can just snipe from the back on. And that's basically how we would get the 10,000 hit points in the ideal world. Oh, that's another mess over there. We really need to take out the, <laughs> the Centurion 7-1 in order to uh, move forwards. What's this guy doing? Is he turning around? I think he's... I think he's going after our AE Phase 1 over there, to be honest. So let's just kind of hop in over here. Let's see if there's anyone behind this rock. There isn't, because we would have proxy spotted them by now. Now let's pull pull, uh, pull back over here. And now the Centurion 7 is going to have a very bad... Okay, never mind. I just don't know where I'm shooting, apparently. We're going to probably get hit by it uh, once again, which is bad. Um, he's looking straight at me. Not really sure how he missed me over there, but okay. Please. Nope. Okay. Bounce. 
We really are losing hit points where we really shouldn't be losing hit points. Uh, got tracked over there. We are basically now a 50-50 one-shot for the Centurion. So let's... Oh, we are absolutely messing up these shots, aren't we? What's left is for us just to, just to go out here and get into cover from the Centurion. Uh, and hopefully... Oh. Hopefully not die, but we died because there was a boar sig over there. Fair enough. I mean, we would have died uh, anyways because, you know, either of the proje Progetto or the Object 263 uh, just ahead of us. 1,600 damage for the second game. I mean, maybe in the course of a game, uh, in the course of the four games, we might add up to the, the 10 farms, but definitely getting nowhere close uh, so far within one game. Game three out of the four. Four tier 10 matchup. And instead of 25,000, there's 29, let's say, let's call it 30,000 to take. So not really that much of a difference, only 5,000. I was thinking more of like 10, but I guess it's only like, you know, seven tier eights versus tier tens. So, you know, some of them only have, you know, a couple hundred more uh, hit points than, than others. You know, I probably have the same hit points as like a beefed up tier eight. Um, heavy tank so so yeah i guess it's not that much of a difference so yeah that's that's what all i want to say now, i kind of want to stay here but is my team going over there i think they are okay so we can stay here um not really sure if we're going to get any spots out and if we're actually going to have anything to shoot at from here but uh, i mean we can stay here for now and then see again for most Tank destroyers, especially kind of these light tank destroyers, I have absolutely no clue where to go. I'm more of like a heavy assault, you know, like Jagdpanzi 100 or a sneaky camper, like the Schritzvog 103B um, kind of player. With the Gorilla 15, I do well because I can just play around the positioning kind of mismatch. But it would definitely help out quite a lot. So, just seeing if we can get any shots out into uh, the tanks up north over there, but no sign of any shots to take for now. Not really sure if this is the right spot to take, honestly. I should have been going on the other side of the map, as there's a lot more tanks over there. That's, that's always kind of the thing you have to kind of watch out for, like... Is the place you're going actually going to have tanks to shoot or not? It looks like uh, we're just getting started over here. I think we're going to have a couple of tanks to shoot at. Really sad I missed that shell on the Type Five. That was really just like a like a sh just like a shot, just hoping it would hit because I mean, it was quite far away and all of that stuff. Where's that TVP going to go out? Is he going to come over here or is he just chilling over there? I hope we do know at least 5,000. Oh, that's bad over there. Okay, at least we put a shot into uh, the bat chat. He is going to go out over here. He can actually clip me, so <laughs> this might be a very short game. Uh, especially, oh, especially since there's a TVP as well. Uh, that's basically me done. Just over there after one shell because... Uh, well, my team just went to the other side. Is doing really well on the other side. There might be a win. Uh, we actually, no, the first one was a loss. The second one was a win, actually. We won that. This is looking like a win for now as well. Because we have control kind of up here. And like the east, we've definitely won. And we have fairly well, a uh, fairly good control over the west. So it's just my positioning and just getting rushed by two medium tanks. Two auto reloading medium tanks that just cost us the game over there this might be a really hard watch um especially with the gorilla 15 i hope we do better in the next game i'm not really sure if i'm just going to go by order of the tier 10s i have or i'm just gonna pick my favorites first i guess we will see that uh, later on okay so before we actually move on to round four um i thought we were going to win this but the eastern assault ground to a halt 
and oh, we just lost our final remaining tank in the west. And we are now left with a heavily damaged Stritzvong, which is just about to die, and two artilleries, which I don't think they are going to pull off six, uh, 4,800 damage between them, uh, especially with their long reloads, especially if they miss as well. So it's not looking good, and that's going to be a loss. Coming in for round or game four, out of four, the most we've managed to do so far is 3,000 damage. And the least we did was, what, like 700? And the, the game in between 1,500. So we're not even nowhere near doing 10,000 in the entire game. Uh, games, four games all together combined. So, um, yeah, for the first video, it's not looking too good. But I hope with the right tank, with the right maps, because we weren't really on, like, grill 15 fun maps. You know, definitely could have been better. Uh, some better picks uh, but yes we will see maybe you know some city maps for a Jagdpanzer 100 or some wide open maps for the Schwarzwang 103B you know we just have to keep on trying and playing and you know it's not it's not going to come to you if you just play for that 10,000 damage you just have to play to do well and that's how you're going to get that 10k, not by trying to get it, just by trying to do well. So, we're not going to really do much on the east over there, so let's just go to the centre of the map, maybe get some shots down the west, down the middle, maybe down the east as well, I guess we will see. Okay, looking out for a shot on this object 907 over here. He has disappeared now though, and we are not within view range to spot him. Uh, so yes, not really sure what to do of here. Like on a map like this, you definitely want to be in the Jagdpanzer 100 more than a Griller. Maybe I'd even pick the Stratzvang 103B over the Griller because it's just way more sneaky. So you can get up closer than you would be able to in the Griller. So it's just really map specific as to how and when we do this. Because you can do 10,000 each tank like over tier 8. Tier 7 maybe, well over tier 8, tier 8 and up, uh, but it's just a matter of how, when, you know, map, and just how the enemy, how the enemy play, because sometimes, you know, you'd be able to be you know, up like a couple thousand by now, or you can just be sitting on zero because you can't really find that specific space where the, where the enemies would come to you for uh, for some shots okay looking in we have a shot on the TVP over here but he's probably going to die before we even see him I would love to get up a little bit closer to get some shots into them but we don't need to since we have an FE405 but we can't turn around in time and we are really quickly lose a lot on hit points to take away uh, we're basically impossible to do 10,000 damage already so let's just see if we can actually do any damage at all because I mean for now we, we we are still on zero which is quite bad uh, what's this VZ going to do it's actually looking the other way so we can actually get up behind them there we go at least at least some damage no, zero damage is like the what the last thing you'd want. The the, ta the target would probably be at least three thousand a game, uh, but definitely not zero a game. Nearly died over there to death. Yeah, I thought he actually fired, but he didn't. So uh, look at me, that uh, he actually missed. There we go, we're putting in some shots over there. Sadly, that TVP shell wasn't a full one, so uh, we didn't get too much damage out of that one. Uh, but, you know, at we are at least going to do 3k, maybe, oh, I don't know, two and a half, maybe. This IS-7 is eat uh, IS-4 is eating shells, he could really back up, and that would kind of <laughs> help me. Um, but, yes, yeah, so it's going to be a little bit of a snipe off towards the end what you would really want you know right at the start in a in a tank like this but sometimes it just isn't meant to be 
like how we get the artillery, not really because we aren't really ready for him. Oh, we could have gotten the IS-4 if we were looking at him still. Uh, we're just looking all over, looking from side to side, and we are probably going to end up with nothing. Oh, please at least hit this. There we go, we'll take that. Three kills, 2,500 damage nearly. Still far off the 10k. But, you know, we got fairly close. What is that going to be? Somewhere in the region of seven to 8,000 damage, I think, in between all these four games, if I'm not mistaken. Next, I'll actually have to, like, delete, reset this, and I'll actually... Uh, I think you can actually set it to damage done across damage cause received. Yeah, we'd be able to turn that on. Uh, and then I would actually be able to see if I actually get the 10k per kind of play session. Uh, but yes, I guess you can see all of the tier 10s that I have to choose from. I mean, some, you know, like the light tanks, uh, some tank destroyers are definitely going to be out of the question maybe not this but uh you know the e4 probably are going to be out of the question i've even of even tried to get close to 10k but, you know the badger not really my favorite tank but maybe you know we'll get there maybe i'll play in order maybe i'll play mixed around but i guess we'll see but that was it for the first episode of quest for 10,000. i hope you guys enjoyed like, share, subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.